the Vietnam guys, we decided to welcome each other home. So whenever a Vietnam guy meets another Vietnam guy, we say welcome home, because no one said that to us. My name's Ed Marr, Edward John Francis Marr, actually, and I joined the United States Air Force in 1966. I volunteered to go to Vietnam. I didn't truly understand what it meant to go to a war zone. It changes you fairly dramatically. What you gotta do is make sure it changes you for the better and not for the worse. I was really very worried that the troops coming back from Iraq and Afghanistan were gonna get ignored. And myself and several of my friends, uh, Vietnam era guys, uh, we decided we were going to step up. So for the last eight and a half years, I've been making sure that when these folks come home, not only are they welcomed, but that they're taken care of. We focused with the critically injured soldiers who were coming back to Walter Reed and Bethesda. When a soldier starts getting better and starts to think about leaving the hospital for the first time, we like to be the guys who take them out for a steak dinner. It's good for them to see they can go out into society with their wounds and their injuries and be successful. So we start to talk to them about what's next. We take care of little things, big things, issues that come up. We just take care of it. We help them with their resumes, interviewing skills, and then we help them meeting up with mentors and support teams. We're vets, we know what they're going through. I feel so privileged to have the opportunity to meet these folks. Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Good talking. Absolutely. Whenever one of these guys tries to thank me, I say, you know, you got this all wrong. You're giving me a gift that I can, I can help you. That over there. That's me, sir. President Obama has fought for veterans. Those of us who stood up to protect our country now need to stand up for him. I work with the really engineered guys, Carol Walter Reed, and uh, they need to know that someone's looking out for us. Our commander in chief does it because he believes in his heart that's the right thing to do. Thank but I appreciate you. everything that you've done in terms of your advocacy. You can hear it in his voice when he says to our troops, welcome home.